as Nigerians brace for the forthcoming general election in 2019. All Muslims in the southwest and beyond have a religious and civic obligation to actively participate in all the stages of the political process either as competent candidates or active, well-informed electorate, the Muslim Ummah of Southwest Nigeria MUSWEN, has said. In a statement by its executive secretary, Professor Dawood Noibi, MUSWEN said all Nigerians, irrespective of their religious, cultural and social backgrounds, have equal stake in the Nigeria project. We all have a duty in determining the direction that the nation takes as we work for a better future. Thus, the attainment of the unity, peace and progress of the nation is every citizen's duty. Also read, NAS invasion, Saraki plan to foist violence over impeachment. As a result of this, all Muslims of voting age must see it is a duty for them to collect their permanent voter cards, PVCs, which guarantee them a freedom of choice during the elections. In light of the current political dynamics in the country, the exercise of this freedom is a privilege which must not be taken lightly by any adult Muslim. It needs to be reiterated that the window of opportunity for doing this is now limited as the exercise, according to the official announcement by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, will close on Friday, 17 August 2018. Therefore, those who are yet to collect their PVCs must see it as a religious and civic obligation to make genuine efforts to do so during the remaining days, the statement read. In the same vein, MUSWEN advised all Muslim candidates to ensure that they distinguish themselves as men and women of unblemished character and attestable competence. Meanwhile, today, Friday 10 August 2018, marks 10 years of the existence of MUSWEN, according to a statement, the inauguration of MUSWEN, in Abadan, Oyo State, on Sunday 10 August 2008, represented the culmination of past attempts at forging a united front for Muslims in southwestern Nigeria. The commemoration of the 10th anniversary, according to the statement, begins today with a special press conference to be held at the International Conference Center, University of Abadan. An international conference on Islam in Yorubaland and the grand finale will hold during the last quarter of the year, the statement said. The organization said details of the main activities would be unfolded in due course.